Universities are supposed to be the bastion of free expression, but when students get to campus, they often find a much different environment. Campus administrators work to silence unpopular speech and control the dialogue through unconstitutional speech codes. They employ ironically named free speech zones to isolate student opinions that dissent from their left-wing dogma. Liberal university administrators control what is said, how it is said, when it is said, and where it is said on college campuses today. Students can defend their free speech rights at public universities by challenging the legality of their university's free speech codes. Before planning a free speech activism project, be sure to research your campus policies. Public universities are required to abide by the First Amendment of the Constitution. Private schools, however, are bound by their own written policies. Keep in mind that even public universities are allowed to place their own restrictions on free expression. Administrators can keep activists from blocking walkways or interrupting classes, for example. Once you've researched the legality of your university's policies, it's time to plan your event. Arrange to conduct free speech activism outside of your school's designated speech zone. One of the most effective ways to do this is by passing out pocket constitutions to students on campus. You may also choose to create a free speech wall, or ball, where students can write anything they choose. If you attend a public school, don't ask for permission to hold your free speech event. Students should never give a campus bureaucrat a chance to say no. The goal of your event is to draw out an administrator who seeks to enforce your school's unconstitutional codes. When administrators or campus police arrive, be reasonable and kind. Follow their instructions and do not get yourself arrested. Ask the administrator for clarification as to why your event is being disbanded. Request to see the campus policy they claim you are violating. More than anything else, make sure to bring a camera and film your exchange with the administrators or officer. If the abuse of your free speech rights is not caught on film, it's like it never happened. Once your activism is over, immediately contact your LI Regional Field Coordinator and send them the video of your exchange with administrators. LI will send it to not-for-profit legal organizations like the Alliance Defending Freedom and the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, who will review it and possibly take free legal action on your behalf. If you successfully documented the abuse, your video might even make national headlines on campusreform.org. If you need assistance in funding your event or acquiring materials, you can apply for an activism grant at the Leadership Institute's website. For more information, contact your LI Regional Field Coordinator or visit leadershipinstitute.org campus.